everybody. We're in the dining room of Hyde House looking at a painting by Hans Boll, which is right over my shoulder here. This painting was created in 1578 and it is titled The Valley of the Muse of Apollo and Daphne. Let's look at it closer. Hans Boll was a Flemish painter known for his biblical and mythological scenes. Often you'll see a wonderful, grand, sweeping landscape, but there's also a story to be told. Let's see if we can find the story unfolding. Here we have two figures, very active and chasing each other. These are the characters of Apollo and Daphne. Above Daphne, you will also see Cupid shooting his arrow. Now the story goes, the arrows shot at Daphne and Apollo were two different kinds. One made Apollo fall in love with the first thing he would see. The arrow that was shot into Daphne, well, she would never fall in love. So there Apollo saw Daphne and chased after her. She wanted no part of this, so she asked her father, the river god, to help her. And his solution? Well, it was to turn her into a tree. Can you see Apollo and Daphne? What has happened to Daphne's arms? She is a tree. Look at her feet. They have become roots. Do you think that was the best solution to her problem? Hi everybody, it's Carrie from The Hyde. We are thinking of creative solutions for Daphne and her problem. So, what types of people are creative? Well, we think of artists as being creative or designers, but there's a lot of people who are creative. Doctors need to be creative. All of your teachers are really creative. All kinds of careers need creativity. And one of the things that you can use to solve a problem is creativity and critical thinking strategies. So we're gonna think of some creative solutions for Daphne's problem. Being creative is something that artists do all the time. How do you deal with someone who's not being nice to you? Run away, tell somebody, say, please stop. How do you deal with bullies if you're in a Greek myth? Turn into a tree, create a thunderstorm, or turn a hollow into a cricket. Strategies. So one of the strategies you saw earlier, um, we created a word map. And that was the circle with a bunch of words on the inside of ways that we were brainstorming that Daphne could solve her problem. We were thinking about what you could do if um, there's someone who's not being kind to you. Also, what you could do to a bully if you were in a Greek myth. Because remember, in a Greek myth, you're gonna have a lot of different types of magic and possibilities that could help you. So I'm gonna use um, just a piece of paper and I'm gonna make a big circle. And inside my circle is all the ideas I'm going to brainstorm. So um, if I was Daphne, I could ask my father and I could turn into a tree. I don't know if that's really the best solution. I could create a thunderstorm. That would be kind of cool. Whoa. Or, I could turn Apollo into a cricket. Wow. That would be kind of fun too. Into a cricket. Whoa. Now I have all my different ideas on my word map and I can decide to add some more or I can choose one for my illustration. I think I'm gonna turn Apollo into a cricket. Whoa. That's the one I'm choosing. So you can use any type of drawing material that you have at home. Um, I'm gonna use colored pencils today. These are a lot of fun, all different colors. 
and I am going to use my imagination and think what would it look like if Apollo turned into a cricket. All right, I'm going to share with you soon. Here's an illustration of Daphne uh, who changed into a tree and here's what could have happened. Maybe Apollo could have been changed into a cricket. What types of things can you think of to solve Daphne's problem? This program was brought to you in part by Stuart Shop Steak Family Foundation, the Tuba Family Foundation, the Town of Queensbury, and the New York Council on the Arts.